only 12 kilometers from the old town Altstadt of Dusseldorf, there is a beautiful pleasure palace, Maison de Plaisance, which has been proposed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Benrath Palace or Schloss Benrath is considered to be the most important architectural synthesis of the arts in Dusseldorf, the capital of North Rhine-Westphalia state. The palace looks just the same today as it would have in 1775 when it was built under the direction of Nicholas de Pigage on behalf of Elector Karl Theodor von der Pfalz. The palace, gardens, ponds, and canal look magnificent. Beyond the stately Cor de Logis of the Benerda Palace, the sprawling complex also boasts two more exquisite museums, the Museum of European Garden Art and the Museum of Natural History. These wondrous institutions offer visitors the chance to delve into the beauty of horticulture and the wonders of the natural world, making the Benerda Palace a destination of cultural and intellectual enrichment. The gardens and courtyards are free to visit, while the castle and museums are chargeable. This is a short story about history of Benrath Palace. In 1755, Elector Karl Theodore, from the Palatinate Sulzbach line, decided to build a new summer residence as a seat for his wife Electress Elizabeth Auguste in the Baroque style in Benrath. While he resided in Mannheim and Schwetzingen, he commissioned his court master architect Nicholas de Pigage to design the new building. He first had the dilapidated moated castle demolished. The new Baroque palace was built about 300 meters north of the old one. After 14 years of construction, the new palace shines in the color of the old rose. However, Elector Karl Theodore and Electress Elizabeth Auguste hardly enjoyed the advantages of the comfortable palace. They only visited the Pleasure Palace once. On the other hand, many artists and writers traveled and stayed at Benrath Palace. From 1806 to 1813, Benrath Palace was the official residence of the Grand Dukes of Berg and Cleve. The capital of this state, which was newly formed from the former territory of the Duchy of Berg and the eastern part of the Duchy of Cleve, as well as parts of the Electorate of Cologne-Bonn and the Principality of Munster in Westphalia, was Dusseldorf. The Grand Dukes of Berg and Cleve were Joachim Marat, husband of Caroline Bonaparte, which was Napoleon Bonaparte's youngest sister. After the Wars of Liberation and the negotiations at the Congress of Vienna, the palace passed into Prussian ownership in 1815. Frederick William III made the building available to his nephew Friedrich Wilhelm Ludwig von Prussia and his wife, Princess Louise, in 1821. After 1852, Karl Anton Prince of Hohenzollern Sigmaringen used it as a summer residence. Ten years later, his son, hereditary Prince Leopold von Hohenzollern Sigmaringen, asked Wilhelm I, who was now reigning, to be allowed to move into the palace which was granted to him at the end of 1862. The princely family lived in Benrath Palace until 1875. In 1911 the municipality of Benrath acquired the castle from the Prussian crown. Through the incorporation of Benrath, the castle came into the possession of the city of Dusseldorf in 1929. Before that, in 1907, the municipality of Benrath had begun to use the side wings of the palace for the gradual construction of a higher boys' school, which later also accepted girls. Parts of the castle were damaged after the Second World War so school operations had to be suspended towards the end of 1945. It was restored over years of work. After the schools moved out. The Benrath Palace and Park Foundation took over the administration and use it on behalf of the city of Dusseldorf in 2000. The museums that have since been set up there, are the financial basis for the preservation of the entire listed ensemble. The large park, which can be used free of charge, is considered an attractive place to relax.